We wanted to get this done as soon as possible without hiring anybody. If we didn't know how to do something, we were going to teach ourselves how to do it, no matter what. So for a few months, I've been keeping a huge secret. I'm opening a sneaker store, but I'm not just doing this by myself. I'm doing this with... Hello, mate. That's right. Me and the Drip Don are opening a sneaker store together. You already know both of us combined. That's double the amount of legendary. But here's the thing. We're going to do this completely ourselves. From A to Z, man. We're seriously building this place from the ground up. And when I say the ground, I literally mean the ground. So starting this off, we had no idea what we were doing. And we were going to do everything ourselves. This was the shop. This place was completely destroyed. It was a dump, bro. It was a dump. It, it, it was empty. The worst was this floor. We had to grind off this thin layer of glue that was on the floor from the carpet, and we didn't know how to get that off. Yeah, but I'll t like I said, Google. We ended up renting this thing right here. Look at me, bro. Look at oh, him. <laughs> we started scraping up the floor. We got like a thin layer of the glue off, but... It wasn't good enough. No, it was not good enough. Again, like I said, we had no idea what we were doing. We got this liquid solution that was supposed to break up the glue and take it off. We ended up pouring it all over the floor we thought that was gonna work but it was just a complete failure it was a fail it yep. was a fail but we never fail are you sure about that so we ended up renting this mean machine that's that boy right there we got this diamond grinder we started going ham on wait, the wait. floor wait 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 you guys had a hard time using this machine. We did. I'm not going to lie. That I, machine I, was dragging us. So yeah. you're probably going to see Shout most of the, the video of these guys doing it. They did it for pictures. Not, yeah, it we, was a team effort. So quick little update. We just ended up patching all the holes in the wall. We patched up so many holes. There's dad right there. Say what's up, dad. And we got the Don right here. This is going to be so crazy. So this took about a month just to get this done. We got all the holes patched in the wall and we got this floor scraped off. It was looking pretty nice. It was. I was pretty proud of it, even at this stage right here. Then we got the wall put up so we could have a little storage room. But man, it was a good wall and we did it ourselves. Exactly. Mind you, we have never done any of this stuff before. Not me, not him. No. Listen, all I know how to do is buy and sell stuff. I mean, I know how to do other things. <laughs> I want to go to Target and buy another LeBron James. But that has nothing to do with this. We don't know how to do any of this stuff. No. But what we do know, we know how to grind and we know how to get things done. But after that, it was time to paint. We decided to go for a pure, beautiful white. I'm talking white as ice. I'm talking white as the snow, bro. I'm talking white as the abominable snowman. I'm talking white as Bigfoot and the uh, Loch Ness Monster, bro. Wait, Loch Ness Monster's in the river, right? And I think Bigfoot's not white. Oh, he's not? No. But once we painted the walls, we had to do something with this ugly ceiling. We just put these yeah, nice well, little... Well, have a look here. Hey, take a look. This is the Mona Lisa of ceiling tiles, so you better recognize. I'm going to get up here. I'm going to put one up. For real, this is looking crazy so far. But we got some of the ceiling tiles up, and we thought we should do something pretty unique with the wall. So we thought, why not put some grass on the wall? Maybe people will walk on the walls. Who's walking on the wall? Spider pig. Spider pig. So we went to Home Depot. We literally have been living at Home Depot. Literally, bro. I cannot tell you how many trips we took. We got a bunch of grass for a grass wall, and uh, we didn't have a truck. <laughs> we figured out how to put the grass wall up and then we also got these extremely dope lights. The lights go crazy. Now we wanted to get this done as soon as possible. As soon as possible without hiring anybody. We still had to finish the display room. We had to finish up the back room and the bathroom. All right, so it's been a late night, but I just got done power washing the floors. We got sushi here supporting. Yeah, we power washed the floors. We got all, most of the ceilings fixed up. We gotta take out these lights and stuff, but it's looking good so far. Oh yeah, and FYI, my dunks are completely soaked. Yeah. Also, a little Miss Sushi right here. I thought it would be a great idea to knock down these lights. Hopefully they still work. But now it was time to hang up these lights. We became plumbers, electricians, carpenters. You name it, bro. Everything. Everything. And guess what? We gonna start our own construction company. Condon Construction. Condon Construction, bro. Let's get it. We're not really doing that. No, we're not. Yeah, no. So today I got my science goggles on because we are tearing down this ugly looking wall right here. Are you sure you don't want glasses? I'm good. As soon as I said that, a little chip flew in my eye. <laughs> we got penetration! Yeah! Okay, okay. He going ham with the hammer. Oh yeah, this All right, so it's been about how many hours? Four hours. 
Four awesome. hours. Four, maybe five hours. Check this maybe out. The wall is gone. Yo, this is so crazy. It's about like eight o'clock right now. We just got done taking down the wall. That was legit. It's very legit. That was probably one of the toughest things we did so far. Literally. We did it. We did it. But yeah, now the plan is to move this toilet right here. And then, uh... We got a bathroom. And we also had a vision. We wanted to epoxy the floors just so we had the vision of these lights reflecting off the floor. Even though we had no idea how to epoxy floors, Google, we done a bunch of research. And what are the odds of the day that we were about to epoxy these floors? A guy by the name of Carson decided to stop into the shop. He was a huge fan of both of our channels. He does epoxy flooring. We got my boy Carson out here rolling the floors. Yo, this floor is about to look insane. I'm about to be able to see my reflection. Literally, I can see my future in this floor. Oh my God. for any help doing this but we saw how passionate he was about doing these floors which was a blessing man literally you guys should definitely check him out his business is highland epoxy floors and more you know what that more stands for right no more baby it stands for more that's right <laughs> So yo guys, Carson just wrapped up doing the floor right now. It needs a top coat. This is absolutely insane. It's so crazy. I feel like everything is finally starting to come together. And one thing too, I cannot thank you guys enough for the support. Like literally without you guys, I would not be able to do this. It's definitely like a dream of mine to open up a sneaker store like with the dot. We literally met through the trade up challenge and now we're opening a store together. This wouldn't have been possible to do like without your guys' support. Like I cannot thank you guys enough. Yeah, of course. Dude. What's your name? Isaac. Isaac? Yeah. Say what's up to everybody. Hi. <laughs> Great meeting, y'all. All right. Take care. This just makes me so happy, and I just want to say thank you guys so much. I wish I could meet each and every single one of you and just say thank you. If you guys want to come by, stop by the shop when we're open, that would be so dope. I would love to meet you guys. But, yo, with that said, let's keep grinding on this store. Now, guys, we've been nonstop grinding on this for eight months straight. Literally, the both of us have been up here every single day grinding on something new. Just like these new shelves right here. These things literally took forever to put up but guys i'm so excited to show you this check out the shop i can feel the force knocking boots broom on mogley when i pop out like lightning polished briefcase no wallet just blew a bag like scotsman kept that in the am going real fast uk honey at the drill that ponds me bailed out no conflict might have said I love her, but I never made a promise I should be ashamed, and I've said it to a few birds Made them think that they was mine, gave them new purse And attention, it got to their head quick Will I ever learn? That's a good question Damn, a lot of pressure, so I gotta pop And I love it like I kinda pop Sorry that y'all gotta watch BKT's up on the truck The boys are counting on me, need to make it out the mud So for them, I get the but yeah guys, definitely come check out the shop. We're gonna be open soon. I'm not gonna give you guys an official opening date yet. We still have a ton of things to set up, but make sure you're following both of us on Instagram so you know exactly the day that we open. Trust me when I tell you guys do not wanna miss it. We're gonna do a big, big event that day. We're gonna be giving away some crazy pairs, okay? Stay tuned, it's about to be insane. Let me just say this too, the first person at the door, they're gonna get blessed with a, uh, a free pair of Something pretty special. And first 15 people in line are entered to win some Travity, Travity, Travis's, or some off whites. We haven't decided, but it's mm -hmm. definitely gonna be a bang. Definitely want you guys to come through when we open. The address is 34781 Grand River Ave. Farmington, Michigan, 48335. Don't miss it. Joe, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I appreciate you guys so much. If you guys are local in Michigan, definitely come by. And even if you're not in Michigan, still stop by. A bunch of people already said that they're gonna fly out. And trust me, I will fly out too. It's gonna be worth it. But Joe, I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces. What do you think about this situation? I think it's a situation. And I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. it's going down, buddy. Yeah, it is. You going see the down. heart pillow. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. You know why they have a heart right here? Because I love you. Hey, yo, what the?